Hello, welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations, and so much more. Today, we are going to take a tour of the 2023 Forest River Sunseeker 2400B. Here is an overview of the layout along with the specifications. The LP tank capacity is 56 pounds, the fresh water tank capacity is 35 gallons, the gray water and black water tank capacity are both 32 gallons. Here are the standard features and options. So let's get started. Over the cab bunk area has an opening window, side step for the passenger, side view blind spot camera on the side right here, big awning on top with an LED light strip couple of speakers up there, frameless opening window, down here, outdoor entertainment. There's a TV in there, a couple of 110 outlets below. Down here, there's a large storage compartment with a drain. All right, let's check out the rear of the RV backup camera above, gravity water fill down here, 5,000 pound tow hitch, propane quick connect on the side, and you can see the leveling system and take a look at the clearance. Seven pin connection. Let's move over to the driver's side. Now right back here, there's a lockable outdoor shower cable connection, 30 amp connection, the city water connection, and the tank flush. Sewer hose storage right in this compartment. On the side here are the sewer connections and it is lockable. On the side of that is the generator. Right above another storage compartment, opening windows on top, another storage area, down below, another big storage area with a drain in that one. This is an access port for behind the theater seating inside the coach opening windows on top. Right here is the propane fill. Side view camera. Step for the driver, opening up that driver's door. There's your diesel fill. Another opening window up in that over the cab bunk area. And take a look at the front. All right, time to check out the inside of this RV. Grab handle right here on the left, and let's open up that door. Screen door. There's a power step. There's even a safe lock box right in the stairwell. All right, let's step inside. Another grab handle here on the right. This is what it looks like with the slide in. So I want to show you that you can access one door of the wardrobe back here. Nothing else is really accessible. The bathroom is accessible. You can still open the refrigerator and the freezer. And you have full access to your kitchen area and you can use the theater seating. And you can also get onto the over the cab bunk. And this is what it looks like with the slide out.
All right, so let's start in the cockpit area. So this has an over the cab bunk, so you can easily move this cushion out of the way if you want some more headroom for entering the cockpit area. I do have to take a really big step down to enter and let's check it out. So there's an armrest on each seat. These are power heated seats. There are three position memory settings. Take a look at the steering wheel. There's some controls right here on the wheel. Right in front of the driver, there's a little bit of storage area with a couple of cup holders. Moving to the center, there's this covered storage area with a wireless phone charger, some USB ports, and a 12 volt. Large infotainment center, it is touch screen. Some more drink holders right below. Another USB and a 12 volts. And right up top here, there's the rear view camera along with the side view cameras. Moving over to the passenger side, another little uncovered storage area, a couple of drink holders, and a ledge for storage below. Right above both the driver and passenger seats, there is a ledge for some additional storage. All right, time to check out the rest of this RV. All right, let's check out the entryway. So there's a cubby right on top of the entry door. There's some outlets in there, cable and HDMI. Right below is a JBL a stereo. On the side of that is your main controller. Right underneath is a subwoofer. Moving down, storage for the fire extinguisher. And over to the other side, there's the battery disconnect the smart leveling system, some lights and controls to extend and retract your awning, the solar remote, and now let's check out the over the cab bunk. The ladder to access that area is stored right here on the side. Now this bunk has a weight capacity of 440 pounds. There's a window on each side. They do open up. They have a curtain that you can pull across for privacy. This side here on the driver's side has a little bit of storage. And there's this curtain that you can pull right across so that when you're up there, you can have privacy. And right here on the side where the ladder is are some light switches. As you can see, there's a good size TV up there that you can watch while laying in this over the cab bunk area. It does swing out so you can also watch it while sitting in these 12 volt theater seats. Very comfortable. I'm going to recline one to show you. It does go back quite a ways. So you could have some people sleep in these if you'd like. There's some a USB port in each seat, and each seat has this little table that you can have a little snack on, maybe even a little meal. Um, you can also use it as a workstation. There's additional USB ports right there on the side of the over-the-cap bunk area. These theater seats also have two drink holders. Right over here, a little storage area you can stick your ipad in there a couple more usb ports and a couple of 110 outlets right behind the theater seats there's this large window area and the windows do open up awning style they have that screen in them and they have this shade that you can pull down for privacy led light strip right underneath the upper cabinets and i'm going to open up these cabinets and show you the storage that's inside not a very big space, but at least the storage is there if you need it. And right above, letting in a lot of extra light, is a skylight with this shade that you can pull across. Now let's check out the kitchen. So there's this countertop extension on the side, providing you with some more countertop space. Let's take a look at the sink. It does have a cover and it is a really big stainless steel sink. 
tall residential style faucet with a sprayer. Right behind it is a wireless phone charger. On the side, there's a two burner Dometic propane cooktop. Let's take a look at this window right here. Opens up awning style, has that screen in it, and a shade for privacy. Underneath that upper cabinet, there are two 110 outlets and a light. Let's check out the storage above. It's a good amount of storage space. It's pretty deep and it has that shelf there in the back. And on the side right here, there are some switches for lights and the switches to extend and retract the slide. Let's check out the microwave below. It is a convection and it's a good size. Storage cabinet right under the sink. And some drawers below. Both of these are the same size. Moving over, we're gonna check out the 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. It does have this safety travel lock for when you're on the go. And take a look in that freezer. It is huge. It has a shelf in there and a couple of storage bins in the door. The refrigerator below is also pretty big, has three shelves for storage and a really large bin on the bottom. The door has some adjustable bins and some beverage holders. Now right across, there's this cabinet with these slide out drawers, great for a pantry area. And right below there's some more storage with a shelf in there. All right, let's check out the bathroom. Take a look. So I'm gonna step in there and show you around. So it's a little bit tight getting in, I'm going to start in the shower, so I have to take a step up to enter, and it's not a very big shower, but it'll get the job done. It has this sliding shower door with this plastic, almost like a shower curtain. There is a curved railing so that it gives you a little more elbow room. Shower head is nice and large, has that adjustable setting and some shelves to set down your products. There's a skylight above that is curved, providing some more head space. Now the toilet is a good size. It is porcelain and foot flush, and it is angled, providing some more leg room for those who need it. Three hooks are already installed here, right on the side. Power air vent above. Now medicine cabinet is quite big. Has a mirror on each door and take a look inside. Three shelves for storage. You have a little bit of countertop space here. The sink does have a cover and it is a good size sink. Matte black finish on the faucet, a couple of 110 outlets, and right here is the switch for your light and your fan. Moving down below, some storage underneath the sink and on the side, a little more storage area. On the door, there's some towel racks. All right, that does it for the bathroom. All right, let's check out the bedroom. There's this sliding accordion curtain that you just pull right across when needed and it stores nicely in place out of the way. On the side of the bed, there are two 110 outlets and a USB port, and now this is on each side of the bed. This bed is what they call a wedge bed. So this part here comes up over this part when you retract the slide.
the slide has just been extended. So now I'm just gonna push that mattress on over and the bed is already made. So this is a two-piece mattress. So I'm gonna try it out. And you know what? I am not feeling that separation in the mattress. It's actually quite comfortable. I wanna show you that on the side here, there are a couple of pretty deep cubbies. While I'm up here, let's take a look at the window. So this side serves as an emergency exit and they open up awning style, has that screen in them, shade for privacy, couple of reading lights, they each have a USB port in them and you just tap them on when you need them. Another window on the side here that does open up has that screen, shade for privacy, a little nightstand on this side. All right. There's a TV back here, a couple of 110 outlets right below. Let's take a look at the wardrobe area. Really big area. This actually has three doors, this one wardrobe unit, hanging rack above, no shelves. Let's check out the drawers below. Really big and deep. Soft clothes and another little area right underneath the wardrobe. Right above in the bedroom area, right outside the bathroom door is an air vent. Right in front is a low profile AC unit and in front of that is another air vent. So that wraps it up for this tour of the 2023 Forest River Sunseeker 2400B. Now it was a little tight getting into the bathroom, but the bathroom was a decent size and you can still access it with the slide in. You can also access the refrigerator and pretty large freezer with the slide in. The kitchen is a really good size. You have that countertop extension giving you some more countertop space. Now, however, there is not a big table where everyone can come together and dine. You do have these theater seats with these little tray tables and this theater seating area which operates on 12 volt power can also be used as extra sleeping space when needed and you have that over the cab bunk also. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for many more videos to come. Bye for now.